where the magic begins. All new Jake and the Neverland Pirates. Kicking off Yoho Let's Go Summer. Keep watching all week long at 5.30, 4.30 Central. Sometimes the greatest adventure can start with one click. ABCMouse.com Early Learning Academy is a proud sponsor of Disney Junior. for Lionel's. Teasing your brother. I wasn't teasing him. I was just playing with him. Was not. Was too. Okay, boys, that's enough. Now I've got a whole comic book to draw and a very short amount of time to do it. Can we help you? Sure you can, Stanley. You boys can help by being quiet. That's not the kind of help I meant. I know. But since your mother won't be home from work until tonight, I need both of you boys to stay out of trouble and let me work. Okay, okay Dad. Dad. And remember, no more interruptions. And remember, no more interruptions. Now for some peace and quiet, no more. Hey, nature boy. What you doing? Hey! <laughs> hey, get that back! Here we go again. Look, Stanley, Kitty's stuck in a tree and he can't get down. That's it. I'm getting Dad. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Dad's real busy and doesn't want to be interrupted, remember? Well, yeah, but... Oh, yeah, sorry. Let me get that for you. Oops, bet you that's Henry calling about band practice. Rough day, eh, Stanley? Yeah, Lionel won't leave me alone. He keeps coming over and teasing me and messing with my stuff. Then why don't you tell him how you feel? Like what? Say, Lionel, I don't like when you do that. Stop being so mean. He's not always mean. I guess he does it because he thinks it's funny. Hey, Stanley, come have lunch with me. Well, well, it sounds as if things are better already. If there's one thing I know, it's how to make a super terrific peanut butter and banana sandwich. <laughs> And if 
there's one other thing I know. It's that there's nothing better in the whole world than washing it down with a nice tall glass of ice cold milk. You said it. Especially when it's the very last glass in the entire house. <laughs> But, but... Um, sorry, bro. You gotta be fast around here. If you snooze, you lose. Tell him! Lionel, I really don't like it when you... Eat and run? Hey! Yeah, sorry, but I've got stuff to do. See you around. Nature boy. Well, you tried to tell him how you feel, and that's a good start. Hmm. I was just thinking. If I slept all day and stayed up all night, I'd never have to see Lionel at all. Oh, then you'd be nocturnal. Nocturnal? What does that mean? Well, that's what you call animals that stay awake at night and sleep during the day. You mean like bats? Exactly. And other creatures, too. Like owls, anteaters, many kinds of cats, hedgehogs, lemurs, foxes, and armadillos. Armadillos are so cool. I wonder what an armadillo would do if somebody was giving him a hard time. Now, I wonder where we could find that out. Right, we could look in... The Great Big Book of Everything. Did I hear somebody say the Great Big Book of Everything? Yes, I was simply saying... The one with everything inside? Well, yes. You see, I was just saying that we could... Shall we, Harry? After you, Elsie. It's the Great Big Book of Everything with everything I do wish they wouldn't interrupt me like Let's read about the fellow who's called an armadillo! Hey, little fish dude, cool something, right? Oh, boy. Oh, wait a minute. What are we looking up again? Armadillos. Orange pillows? Oh, not orange pillows, Harry. Armadillos. What letter do you think armadillo starts with? I think it starts with the letter A. Then this word will be easy to look up because A is the first letter in the alphabet. Aardvark, anteater. Here it is, armadillo. That's an armadillo? Hmm, looks more like a soccer ball with armor to me. Believe it or not, that is indeed the South American three-banded armadillo. Hello in there. Is anybody home? So why does it look like a soccer ball? Because its body is covered with strong plates made of bone. How come? Well, for the same reason, Stanley always wears a helmet when he rides a bicycle. Because it keeps me from getting hurt? Exactly. But wearing a helmet isn't going to keep Lionel from bothering me. <laughs> Hmm? Hey, what's it doing? Don't be afraid, little dude. I'm not gonna hurt you. Come on, everybody. Hurry. Whee! <laughs> Here comes an animal that likes to pick on armadillos. Can you guess what our little friend will do? Wow! The armadillo doesn't fight with him. It just rolls up and ignores him. Right, Stanley. The armadillo protects its soft tummy by curling his body into a ball. <laughs> You mean you're going to roll up into a ball when your brother bothers you? No, but I will stop paying attention to him until he gets tired of teasing me 
I'll just ignore him. Oh, I get it. Good thinking, Stanley. Thanks, Mr. Armadillo. Oh, we'd better put the big book away. We can't leave it on the kitchen floor. Someone might trip on it. Stanley, you want to see a horse fly? Get it? Horse fly? <laughs> uh oh. What should Stanley do now? Hmm. <laughs> huh? Aha! The old armadillo defense. Hey, hey, Stanley. I. I said. Come on, Stanley. Hmm. Oh, look, it's the jumpy, snaky thing again. <laughs> Stanley, I've got your, um, snaky thingy. <laughs> Stanley? Boys, what's going on? Oh, nothing, Dad. I've just been playing armadillo. Watch. <laughs> Stanley, you are no fun. I saw how you handled Lionel's teasing just now. You did? You know, Stanley, I'm never too busy to help you with a problem, but I'm very proud of the way you handled this. Thanks, Dad. Mm. Now show me how you did that armadillo thingy. <laughs> you just throw up in a big ball like this. <laughs> Wow! Can I play, too? Uh, sure! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I have one strange family. <laughs> and what else did you learn about armadillos? Well, their bodies are covered with strong plates made of bone that protect them. The same way my bicycle helmet protects my head. Right you are. And look, Stanley. <laughs> they learn to roll up like armadillos, too. Now that gives me an idea. Let's get some sleep. Good night, Dennis. <laughs> Good night, armadillo boy. Growing pains. Huh? Why do you need a wetsuit, Dennis? You're a fish. Yes, but I'm a freshwater fish, Stanley. I'm not used to salt water. Gotta protect the old gills, you know. <laughs> Dudes! Huh? <laughs> Looks like it's moving day for Mr. Hermit Crab there. Yeah, and it's time for us to dive in, partner. Hey, Dennis, look. That baby octopus is in trouble. Let's help him. Right behind you. Time to get up. Wow, thanks, Mom. I was caught between two big rocks underwater. 
You know, Stanley, I think you're getting too big for this bed. Your dad and I better go shopping for a new one. A new bed? I like this bed. You'll have more room in a nice new bigger bed, sweetie. You're a big boy now. She's right, Stanley. You are growing bigger every day. As my mother always said, you can't put 10 pounds of fish food in a five pound bag. But I'm not fish food, Dennis. And besides, I like this old bed. And so do Harry and Elsie. Right, guys? <laughs> Quit crowding, would ya? How can we get rid of this bed? You've had so many great adventures in it. It makes such a great canoe. And it made such a great camel across the burning desert, remember? And just last week, we migrated with a gaggle of Canadian geese. Don't you think we could do all those things in a new bed? Maybe. But what if we can't? I want to keep this bed. Stanley, breakfast is ready. I hear we'll be getting you a new bed, big guy. You must be pretty excited. Actually, Dad, I think my old bed is still okay. I don't need a new one. Hey, if he likes baby beds so much, maybe we should drag his old crib down from the attic. Now, Lionel, that's enough of that. Stanley's getting to be a very big boy. Come to think of it, we haven't measured you in a while. Come on, Stanley. Stand up straight, honey. Wow, look at this, Stanley. You've grown 11 inches since we got your old bed. One more inch and you'll have grown a whole foot, our little inchworm. <laughs> well, that's right. 11 plus 1 is 12, and there are 12 inches in a foot. It's definitely time for a new bed. Oh. See? This bed is plenty big enough. Good night, Dennis. I'm not so sure, Stanley, but good night. If you had to sleep on the floor all night, I think that means it is time for a new bed. It was just a little crowded last night, that's all. Now, Stanley, don't you think it's time to face facts? Growing bigger is a natural part of life for everyone. I guess you're right, Dennis. A lot of creatures find it necessary to move on to larger quarters when they outgrow their old ones. Can you think of any animals that do that? crabs. They rule all the time. Exactly. Now you're on to something, Stanley. Wonder where we could find out more about hermit crabs. I think it's time to check out the great big book of everything. Now why didn't I think of that? I'll get the book right now. Careful, Stanley. Try not to wake up. It's the great big book of everything with everything inside. See the world around us. This book's the perfect guy. You two sounded better when you were snoring. We think it's really bad to learn about a crab. Okay, hermit crab starts with... with H. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Here we go. Crab's bodies are soft and vulnerable, and that means they can get hurt easily, so they need a shell to protect themselves. They move on to a new shell when their old one becomes too small for them. Hermit crabs spend quite a bit of time searching for a shell that fits them just right. Hey, Dennis, what's a hermit anyway? And why do they call these guys hermit crabs? Well, a hermit is someone who likes to live by himself, and hermit crabs don't want to share their shell with anyone. 
I think Mr. Hermit Crab could use a little help picking out his new shell. Hey, where are you going? Wow, it's like a Hermit Crab apartment complex. I thought hermit crabs like to live by themselves. Well, some do. But they get together when there's enough food available. Guess they really do like to come out of their shells. <laughs> Say he's very happy with his new home. <sighs> What's going on, Dennis? It appears that our hermit crab friends have both decided they want the same shell. But it looks like they're going to have a fencing match. <sighs> each other until one or the other does give up. Stanley, hermit crabs are able to grow new parts if they lose them. You mean if Mr. Hermit Crab had lost his claw in a fight, he could grow it back? Exactly. So if they lose a claw or an antenna, they can grow it back. That's cool. Huh? Oh, no. It's him again. I think it's time to get out of here. Excellent thinking there, Stanley. Don't forget, humans and goldfish cannot grow their body parts back. Dear hermit crabs have to work so hard to hang on to their new shell. Thank goodness you'll only have to find Harry and Elsie for room in your new bed. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny, dear? Oh, nothing. Hey, Mom and Dad, I've got a great idea. What's that, son? How about I go shopping with you and Mom to pick up my new bed? That is a great idea, Stanley. We'll have to shop around very carefully until we find one that's just right. Sure, big guy. Let's go. I see you found just the right bed, Stanley. It looks a lot like your old one, only bigger. Well, I knew I needed a new bed, but I wanted one that would still be great for our adventures. This one should do the trick. We're in an airplane, Dennis, and we're flying over a beautiful beach. You know what, Dennis? Mm. Watch that, Stanley. No matter how many new shells I have to grow into, there'll always be room for you, Dennis. Thanks, Stanley. Good night, Dennis. Good night, hermit crab. I love you. Coming up on Disney Junior. On Disney Junior. <laughs> 
It can happen when you least expect it. Wow! The ouchies. Oh, no! My stuffing is leaking out. Is there a doctor in the house? But never fear. You're in the hands of the best toy doctor I've ever seen. The doc is always near. I haven't lost a toy yet. Say hello to Doc McStuffins. You can call me Doc. The doc on the block. The doc is in, and she'll fix you up. Awesome! Doc McStuffins, weekday afternoons at 4, 3 central, and weeknights at 7, 30, 6, 30 central. Honk your horns. <laughs> Disney Junior's rolling into Chuggington with Brewster. Chugs away! Coco. And Wilson. See them ride the rails. Wheel to the rails! And help chugger trainees. Hello! In Chuggington Batch Quest. Wow! Come along for more train-tastic tales in Chuggington. Weekday afternoons at 1.30, 12.30 Central on Disney Junior. Christopher Robin and his friends play in a place called the Hundred Acre Wood, where every day there is always a new and wonderful adventure. It was on one particularly blustery night that this story takes place. Winnie the Pooh was preparing for bed when he remembered a very frightful thought. Tigger had warned him about mysterious creatures called heffalumps and woozles, creatures that love to steal honey. So Pooh prepared himself, determined not to let anyone or anything get at his precious honey. He stood guard as the night's blustery wind turned to rain. He kept his watch hour after hour until... Heffalumps and woozles steal honey. They're black. They're round. They're round. They're down. They're in. They're out. They're all around. They're far. They're near. They're gone. They're here. They're quick and slick. They're insincere. Beware. Beware. Be a very, very bear. A heffalump or woozle is very confusal. The heffalump or woozle's very sly. 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 They come in ones and twosles, but if they so choosles, before your eyes you'll see them multiply. Plop, plop, plop. They're extraordinary, so better be wary, because they come in every shape and size. 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 If honey's what you covet, you'll find that they love it, because they'll guzzle up the things you prize. They're black. They're brown. They're wrong. They're down. They're in. They're out. They're all about. They're far. They're near. They're gone. They're here. They're quick and slick. They're insincere. Beware. 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 When Pooh woke from his very strange dream, he found a troubling sight indeed. The night's rain had flooded his house, and once again, he had but one thought of what he must do, and that was to save his precious honey. So he gathered up some pots and climbed them high into a tree where they'd be safe. Safe, at least, from any heffalumps and woozles, but safe from small bears? Well, that's an entirely different story for an entirely different time. Watching Disney Junior, a special place for kids just like you. Disney Junior, where the magic begins. Are you ready to help us on a fun adventure? Yes. Mickey Mouse Clubhouse Road Rally comes alive on your iPad. Ride along with Mickey and your favorite pals in the Road Rally episode. Say it with me. Miska, Miska, Mickey Mouse. Look, everybody, we found sandcastles. So which sandcastle has four towers? Count with me. One, One two, two, three, four. Five, six. Lift up your tablet in both hands to find where Chippendale are in the sky. Go, Pete, go. Go, Pete, go. With your parents' permission, you can take the wheel and download Mickey Mouse Clubhouse Road Rally episode. Now available on the App Store. Tomorrow night. Come on, Nemo. How far can you go? Oh, my gosh! Nemo's swimming out the sea! <gasps> Nemo! No! On the magical world of Disney Junior. I have to find my son. Dive in for the biggest underwater adventure. Hello. Ah! Where fish are really cool. 